Ja, hier sind wir im heiligen Ambiente eines Harley-Ladens in Köln. Bei mir Joey DeMaio und Eric Adams von Manowar. Hello, gentlemen. Brother, what's happening? Good to have you on the show. Glad to be here. Glad that you are Great. here. You're sitting on a Harley Davidson. We're coming to that later. What's the reason for all that? And uh, before we start, maybe you want to announce one of your videos? Yeah, I want to tell everybody to stay tuned because right now we are going to blow your speakers with the Man of War video. Blow your speakers. I've heard that working with you, Joey, is sometimes a pain in the ass because you're so perfect. No, oh, it's worse than that. <laughs> it's worse than it's that? It's not that easy. <laughs> Sometime we'll get you in the recording studio and you can see for yourself. It's not a good time. A lot of times we think it sounds, that's it, it's done, and we put the song to bed, you know. And then all of a sudden, Joey will come back to me, you know, months later and say, okay, now, the song, like, Courage, the song Courage, I say, you know, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. I said, I told him, Joe, The song's done. It's good. It's great. Just the way it is. Nope. Got to add this to it, he says, and he was right. He said, he said, when I'm done, I'll tell you this, when I'm done drinking this song, I'm going to get so fucking drunk. You're not going to see me for a week. So finally he got done singing, and he thought he was finished. And he went out and he got fucked. <laughs> Completely, right? And so we listened to it in the studio. We we're just about to do the final mix. And I, I called up, I said, oh, there's one note that just could be a little different. And I called him up and I said, I know you're not going to be happy about this, but maybe it's an excuse to get drunk twice. I said, well, <laughs> well you've got to come in for one note. He goes, three words. This, this is it. You are really crazy. This, he goes, you are really crazy. <laughs> three words. Yeah, three words. <laughs> I'll be there. Well, That's three words. I'll be there. Listen up out there. This next video I'm screaming to see. It's Joe Satriani, the extremist. What is like your connection to motorbikes? We ride all the time. We've been riding for years, you know, and it's just, uh, it's a cool thing to do, you know, and that's what we are, you know. We got our own bikes and uh, custom built, custom made. You'll see it on the next video. The connection between uh horses and motorbikes, is that like the link between the early Manowa days when you had the imagery of fantasy warriors and knights and now you have like the spiker imagery on the new record? Well, it's the spirit of a warrior. Mm -hmm. There's a, a freedom. You're riding down the road, you're in the wind, you feel your hair blowing back. There's all this power, you know, that you're sitting on. And it's just a sense of freedom and control that you just can't get any other way. And now one of my favorite videos, a band that truly knew what heavy metal was all about, coming at you with something for your pain. It's Judas Priest, Painkiller. Can you sort of point out the difference between him and Dave Shankle and Ross the Boss? Ross played strictly from a blues background. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was it. His soul was the blues. Um, Dave played more from how did it look when he played, you know, from the audience watching. Yeah. And I think Carl plays from all three perspectives. You know, he's got a bluesy soul. He can play all the flashy stuff, but yet he's got a musical background that allows him to really take the band to that next level. And uh, how important was Scott's return to what Loud in Hell sounds now? Real important because, you know, being the original drummer for the band and understanding the musical feeling perhaps better than any drummer would be able to. Um, you know, it just gave the band a sense of, okay, we're back where we started again. We've come full circle, you know, and we've kept all of the things that we've taken along the way. You know, all the craziness is still there, all the wildness, but now the groove is just complete. Next up, one of my favorite bands, ACDC. Not louder than hell, but highway to hell. Recently, we've had scientific proof of why there's more girls at Man of War concerts than any other heavy metal band. Now you tell me. Uh, and it's, it's funny because it goes along with uh, why girls like to ride on Harleys. We're playing a show 
and it was in Berlin. And I saw this girl who, you know, I thought was really cute her and her friend we were talking and I said well you know you should hang around later on maybe we'll you know have a few drinks and have some fun so after the show I said well where's your girlfriend she goes oh no she had to go home immediately to jump on her boyfriend I said what do you mean she goes well this music of man of war makes girls very horny and she goes it's the sound I said what do you mean it's the sound she goes the bass from the PA system she goes vibrates through the floor up your up up through your your legs she goes right to your parts just like a super hundred horsepower vibrator when i was riding this girl on my bike one day you know she was a, a pretty much a straight arrow girl you know she was like a secretary she was a friend of ours and i'm driving and i said okay i think we'll pull back into the studio now she goes no please can you go around the block one more time i why she goes i just want to come one more time this is Joey DeMaio from Man of War, and I want to play one of my favorite videos for you. The song's called Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. It's a classic tune from a classic band for the most happening crazy people in the world out there. So, ride and rock on. There's a... Man of War has never fit in, you know, the American lifestyle of heavy metal. You know, mm -hmm. this band has never been like, uh, you know, Quiet Riot or White Lion mm -hmm. or Queensryche or bands like that. We don't have that American radio sound, you know, and we don't want it. And you talk about alternative, you know, you look that up in the dictionary. You think, well, what does that mean? Well, it means having a choice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's clear their choice was to buy an instrument and not be able to play it. Their choice was to get on stage and be boring. Their choice was to look stupid, <laughs> to act stupid, to be stupid, and to put people to sleep. So that was their alternative. Our alternative is to get on stage and kick ass. Our alternative is to pick up that guitar and pound the hell out of the fucking thing. Our alternative is to yell and scream and put out energy and go fucking crazy. We've had a great time tonight and it's been a fun interview and this guy is totally sick and crazy and we want to say thanks to everybody out there for staying crazy with us. This is Joey DeMaio. Scott Columbus. Carl Logan. This is Eric Adams. Telling you, keep your TV on because they play videos that kick some ass. And this is Metal Warriors from Man of War. And we'll see you out on tour, breaking the chains that hold everybody down.